Wow, I look a hot mess. Am I really starting this vlog off looking like this? <laughs> From the hair to the skin to the everything, I look a mess. So today is going to be a maintenance vlog because clearly we need a whole lot of maintenance to get this appearance together. So if you are on the T-Girls channel, oh my God, y'all, I look a mess, I can't. If you are on the T-Girls channel, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. We do beauty, lifestyle, vlogs, and natural hair on this channel. So if you like that, you will love this. In today's vlog, we will be glowing up from looking this pitiful to looking nice and presentable. <laughs> From pitiful to presentable. That's what today's vlog is going to be all about. I am starting this video off already having my nails done, but I'm going to be inserting the footage of me getting my nails done, um, the whole process. We're also going to be going to laser. Um, we have to get our laser hair removed for down there. Um, also, we're going to be getting a facial. We're going to be getting our eyebrows waxed. And we're also going to be doing our hair. Clearly, the hair baby, okay? And I really wanted to get my facial, y'all, because you guys know my skin literally has been acting a hot mess. I also recently chemically burned my skin. That's what I think happened. So we'll see when we go to the esthetician if I'm correct on that assumption. But um, let's go ahead and hop right on to today's maintenance vlog. So let's go. <laughs> Hey, y'all, this right here deserves some of the hair. <laughs> no, but um, we are on our way to our facial appointment. I am so excited to just get my face analyzed and just see if Jess feels like anything. I'm doing something wrong, maybe? I don't know because I just need to know what's going on with my skin. Um, if you did not remember from my last vlog, I just had a whole lot of uh, dark spots and also I chemically burned my forehead. And I think also right here, so it's very, very rough on my skin. Well, my skin is very, very rough. So I just want to see, you know, what all is going on, if she can see something that I don't see because she's a, she's a professional. I'm also barely making it with my hair. Like, I know it looks a mess still. I get it. <laughs> I get it. That's why we're doing a maintenance vlog, baby. Okay? <laughs> has been acting up. Really? Like, I think I chemically burned myself mm. up here. And you see all my dry a little bit too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, the side. See how it's darker on mm -hmm. both sides? What did you put on it? So, I use this Peace Out Skincare Dark Spot Serum. I've seen that. And it, it was burning, mm -hmm. but I thought it was just like working. Yeah. So, I didn't take it off. And okay. later on that evening, it was literally like patches of like burning skin look like on my forehead. Mm -hmm. And then, but these two started coming before that, before I even used that serum. That's probably too strong. But before I used the serum, these two oh, had you still had that here. Was there anything else, uh, chemical you're using? I don't know. I use vitamin C, mm -hmm. I use retinol. I use like, moisture, like hydrating serums. Okay, so maybe something to do with the uh, retinol because you know retinol thin the skin But if you try to go back door and use anything like a strong chemical mm -hmm. It could react and burn your skin too. I did use a polish choice right now a new one mm -hmm. um, And I don't even know if they were here before then it was around the time I started using that too Because I was just you know trying new products mm -hmm. or whatever, but well the good thing it can be fixed though You know you can just go back to some uh, you know your vitamin C Using that to even your skin, even yeah. some um, alpha arbutin that evens hyperpigmentation quick. Oh, is that the red stuff? No, uh, it's uh, it comes in the same kind of jar, but I want to say it might be clear. Oh, that's the it's a vitamin C. It can be a form of vitamin C. Because yes. I think the ordinary, I, that's what yeah. I use from the ordinary. And the ordinary has a straight one. They have one that has alpha arbutin plus um, hyaluronic acid, so it kind of hydrates, but it helps with hyperpigmentation, and that will get you right. Okay, okay. So just use that and see how that goes. Okay, put your head here and I'll do your brows. Your brows are already uh, done though, right? You're just cleaning them up. Yeah, well, I have micro shading. Yeah. But they're, um, 
they I, I haven't had a wax in like a few weeks. So let's get into this facial, which is the star of the show in my opinion. The facial I went with is the Gorgeous Experience Facial, which is an hour and 15 minutes. So she started off with cleansing my skin. She does a really, really good job with just like taking care of the skin and being very gentle but effective. And then she also steams my face, which y'all, I love steaming. Like you guys already know, I just like to steam my face in general. But whenever I'm there, it just feels like a full experience, especially since I haven't been able to steam my own skin as of lately. It just amps the whole facial experience up in my opinion and steaming does have a lot of benefits other than just feeling good it helps to open up the skin's pores so that way whatever product is being applied is really able to be absorbed into the skin and I like it because sometimes product sits on my face but instead of it sitting on my face it's actually able to be absorbed into my skin by steaming. Now this is an extraction tool, if I'm not mistaken. So it helps to remove anything on the surface, but also get some bumps out of the skin as well. It kind of has a buzzing feeling when it's on your face. I have this one stubborn blackhead on my forehead that I have tried to get out for so long and it's really buried into my skin. She wasn't able to get it out either so we just decided to leave it alone. So next up is this mask that she made. I believe I received about two masks during this treatment. Um, I really do like the mask service as well because she doesn't just do the mask only. She applies this next tool that you guys will be seeing onto my skin, which this really dome helps is to a hyperbaric oxygen, anion oxygen, oxygen system, oxygen which is, is that a treatment that pumps 90% oxygen? oxygen through the dome to be absorbed into the skin. And you really don't feel much of anything when you're underneath it except for some pressure, but it really does help to revitalize the skin. And I really feel like this right here drastically improved the dry parts of my skin y'all like it also helps to re-energize skin cells and turn back the clock on aging while also permeating vitamins into the skin then after that we went and followed up with this next mask which i'm not quite sure what this mask does but i do know for sure that she gave me a scalp massage which i, I wasn't even expecting that to be included in the service but baby i took me a nice little nap during this session right here because that right there felt so good <laughs>
and just applied a few more serums into my face and then put me right back underneath the dome again for a few more minutes and I want to let you guys know that I feel like the dome is really what made my skin like rejuvenated and revived my skin because my skin just looks so much more hydrated once she was finished with this session and even afterwards like a few days later my the dark spots on the side of my face basically started to brighten up they were so much more moisturized so it's kind of like my skin just needed this reboost and this reset or this right this this process to get me back on track with my good routine and everything so y'all yeah, just finished with okay Beyonce we we get it I just finished with my chemical peel and honey she got my skin looking so good feeling so good she also gave me a whole lot of tips for my skin she also told me to just make sure my skin stays hydrated and also um, just be careful with like new products because I do think my skin did break out because of the new products that I put on it so I just have to be more careful with it and she also said that in case it doesn't fully recoup that I can go back and get a another chemical peel for the fall so that way I just I will be able to shed the dark marks that I did develop around here around here and on my forehead for when I burn my skin I still do believe that it is a chemical burn but it has gone down since it's more hydrated now so I think I also just wasn't keeping my skin as hydrated as I needed it to be which is a shocker because y'all already know how like I typically be on my skin like making sure it's hydrated but I kind of got discouraged I'm not gonna lie because of all the problems that it was having so yeah just stay on top of your skin girl and get that necessary maintenance that your skin deserves because what's the point of all the hard work if you're not gonna reap the results I know you want me, you then I'm only when you're lonely, yeah You think you know me, but you don't even know myself about me, yeah You see my thick eyes, lost when you look into my open eyes You see my lips, I'm just gonna make you lose this size You're never not the devil in disguise, so why not just end up, baby, yeah Tell me, tell me, tell me, do it for me all the time So let me show you, show you, show you, show you, don't take the back of your heart Thank you.
y'all before we get into the next part of the maintenance vlog i wanted to show you guys my skin transformation from one week to the next this is a one week difference so on the left three images you can see how my skin had those dry ashy patches right above my eye and on the right you can see how they are still there for the most part but they are not as visible and they're also not dry whatsoever like y'all my skin i was so shocked i was like bro this facial was amazing so highly recommend hi guys long time no see so the last time i um was talking to you guys for this video was like a week ago hold on girl let me fix my lips real quick so it was like a week or more ago and i planned to do my hair with the wig like last week but time literally when i say like got away from me it got away from me so today is wednesday no i'm sorry tuesday and we are actually about to start on my hair finally finally because you guys know if you watch my vlogs that i had to do some other content that got in the way and in case you're wondering like just how long it's been since i picked up the camera for this video this was a fresh set a fresh set and will you please look at them now like you guys can clearly see that it's been a very long time since i picked up the camera for this video <laughs> what i'm about to do right now is um slick my hair back so i can put on the wig and i'm also going to show you guys how i do my hair whenever i put on put on my wigs now just fyi right now my hair is clean it's just styled so i'm not going to rewash it i literally just washed my hair two days ago it's just i pulled it back and that's why it looks like this but no worries so typically I follow this girl on YouTube. I'll link her video down below on how I do my wig. So I'll link her video. But you want to slick, I mean twist the sides of your hair into a into one twist. I usually only do one, not two, but I already had two in for my previous style. And then I'm gonna do this side with just one twist right here, slick back, and then I I mean one twist right here, go on to the back, and then the top part of my hair, I am going to Slick it back all the way and then in the bottom I'm going to split half of my hair in the back and do little braids braids or twists I think she does braids do braids for the back part of my hair let's kind of like compress the style so it's not as much hair and then we're going to wrap the hair around I'm going to show you all of this I'm just trying to demonstrate what I'm going to be doing well speak what I'm going to be doing so you guys can like understand me so Let's go ahead and get started so I can stop looking a hot mess because I'm ready. <laughs> so I actually love to do this whenever I'm putting on wigs because it really does help me to lay my hair flat. And I also don't have to braid my hair because I cannot braid my hair to my scalp at all. So if you are in the same boat as me, this is also a great way to lay your wigs without having to actually braid. So I did moisturize my hair with those two Aunt Jackie products because I had already used those products on my hair. So to try to prevent as much flaking as possible, I decided to use those just to add a little bit more moisture. And then I'm gonna be flat twisting on the side. Fun fact, I'm also not really good at flat twisting. As you can see, I had to take that down and redo it. So this method is very beginner friendly in my opinion. So I'm gonna be flat twisting the side of my hair all the way down. And then we're going to get into the actual um, bulk of this, of this type of style to lay the wig which is the back half so you're going to split your hair in half in the back and this is what's going to really hide most of your hair so in the back part what Brie did was wet the hair first and then decided well she actually braided the back of um this portion right here which i didn't remember that so i mistakenly twisted it but no worries it still came out really really good okay now i still have all this hair left so I'm going to go in with my moisturizer and just make sure that my hair is moisturized because of course you want to take care of your hair underneath a wig. And you could detangle it right now or you could just wait until you do each separate twist to detangle, which I may do. So I'm going to brush my hair on back. Be very careful with it. Okay, I lied. I'm actually gonna just go in and detangle the inner pieces because it's going to make the hair lay way flatter than if there were, you know, knots all up in here and tangles. Just take the time to actually detangle 
the insides of your hair as well. Now that we are good and detangled everywhere, I'm going to slick back this section and it's so much easier to comb through. <laughs> Just do it the right way, girl, okay? Do it the right way, take the little extra time. And it's gonna also lay much flatter. So I'm gonna grab some of my Eco Gel and put this on the top. Cause of course we want it to be very, very sleek right here. Cause this is where your wig is going to lay. And if this is not sleek, then your wig is gonna look like it's, you know, coming up off your head. <laughs> and I'm gonna include all of these twists and braids, well twists into the ponytail back here. And y'all, I'm so ready to like, oh my gosh, I'm causing flakes. <sighs> oh. oh well. It's still gonna lay sleek. <laughs> well, at least we know these products don't work together, so don't be me. But we still gotta add some more gel, so. <laughs> but y'all, I cannot wait to move to like a different city where there's more black hairstylists because I just, I like to be catered to. I don't like to do everything with my hair. Like, I like to go sit in a salon chair, okay? And have my hair done, you know what I'm saying? Soft life. <laughs> We just brush this a little bit. Can you see how flat that is? Yeah. Now I'm going to put this into a ponytail back here. And then all the loose pieces of hair, you're just going to put those into some little twists. That's all. Oh, we're in the home stretch of this portion. So as you can see, pause my YouTube. <laughs> the whole back is twisted up, okay? So, now we're gonna, what we're gonna do is this motion. <laughs> so basically wrap the twist around the ponytail, but the key is once you start wrapping, you want to wrap the next one in an upwards motion. So you don't wanna wrap everything just around because it's gonna come out, but if you wrap up, then it's gonna be flatter in the back, basically. And you also want to alternate sides, like which go from left to right, which I didn't do, but left to right. And secure it with value pins when you need to. So here's what it looks like in the end. Pretty cool, right? And you just keep on adding bobby pins to like flatten it some more. Like I'm gonna add one right here to just make it very, very flat. And then you just wanna let this dry. So I'm gonna let it dry probably like for a few hours or maybe until tomorrow. And then we're gonna actually install the wig. Finally, I cannot wait. Oh yeah, see how flatter, how, how much flatter that is now? Now that I added the bobby pin, so. A little tip for the thick hair girls out there. So, fun fact, I'm pretty sure you like sis, where's the installation? Okay, so this is a wig I installed first. This is a full synthetic wig, which is really, really cute, but I just did not like how I installed it, so I scratched that entire footage, and I'm showing you guys the install of the next wig that I decided to do, which we are getting into right now. Number one tip, get some wig caps that match your skin the closest. Do not put those light wig caps on your head. I will link mine in my Amazon storefront below. Also, this spray is so clutch. I got it from True Match Conceal online on Instagram. I believe they have a new packaging now, but I'll also try to link their website. It helps so much with matching or tinting the lace of your wig. I love, love, love that stuff. Then I decided to cut my, um, my ear holes out, use my Got To Be spray, to secure my wig i'm also going to link down below all these steps of the video i followed and then um i used my bronzer so like a bronzer shade a little bit darker than me to put onto my wig so that it can really blend with my scalp then i spray some more got to be and allow that to dry that tip is very important with your um, allowing your lace to really blend and melt into your skin. I accidentally cut too much of my wig cap off, <laughs> but just don't do that, okay? Cause yeah, you'll see why. So after my lace um, has dried, I'm gonna be installing it on my head and then we're going to be cutting um, these two little slits into the lace. It's what the girl in the tutorial I followed did. So 
I'll link her down below. Now, typically you will wanna use alcohol right now to get off any excess glue or spray off your forehead before you apply your actual glue, but I didn't have any, so I used that um, glow tonic by The Ordinary. It worked pretty good. And then I used my Ghost Bond XL glue. I get this off Amazon as well. I'll link it. And the first layer of glue that you apply, um, that is for the wig cap to be secured. As you guys can see, some of my hairs on the side are popping out. You do not want that at all, okay? You want all your hair to be underneath that wig cap. So I kind of did cut my cap a little bit too close, but I'm applying four layers of this glue to my head and you want to allow each layer to dry completely clear before you apply your wig. So now I'm gonna go in with my wig and I'm applying the wig a little bit in front of the, lay uh, I mean, of the glue, that's what the girl also did on the video I watched and then I am pressing the wig into the lace now we have to actually get into cutting the lace and I decided to cut it pretty close to the perimeter but not you know too too close because you can always cut more but you cannot cut less then she also applied a few a little bit more glue to um, secure the front do you guys see that blend like the blend is spectacular okay but i do feel like i kind of made it a tad bit too dark like the lace because i'll show you guys at the end what i mean but that melt is gorgeous okay it was so so good and then i'm gonna be pulling out my baby hairs and she went in with a hot comb girl i said uh, -uh i ain't gonna burn my head trying to hot comb no baby hairs okay <laughs> so then um i went in with my ghost i mean with my spray and then tied it down let that sit for a little bit and then cut my baby hairs try my very best to slip these baby hairs because baby i am not that good with baby hairs at all but let me tell y'all something this is a human hair wig this right here is 100 percent human hair and i love this texture i love the texture i love how fluffy it can get how you know condensed it could get if i add product to it so i'm also going to go in and pluck 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 oh my gosh i have to pluck this wig so much because you want your hairline to look really really natural right you can already see the difference in what's happening with those two sides just from plucking and smoothing so then i applied a little bit of the of mousse to my um wig and then plucked those baby hairs a little bit more because i tried the swoop but it was not coming out right at all like that was ew no no ma'am <laughs> so i plucked some more plucked some more and then i believe i tied it down yeah i tied it down and then i let it sit for a little while and then I say, I'm gonna just come back to my baby hairs and look at how much hair has come out this wig, but that is so normal because you have to pluck to get that hairline to look right, okay? So then I went ahead and tied the wig down and I just let that and the baby hairs rest for a little bit. And then this is what it looks, looks like after I took the tie off. And baby, the wig looks so good. The lace melted so well, y'all. In my opinion, a plucked hairline is what makes a wig look its most natural, which I I love you guys will also be able to see how on the side of my hair it kind of like the hairline looks a little darker than my actual skin tone so that's why I say I think I tinted the lace a bit too much but you guys can really see this method works for tinting your lace for sure and I just love how this hair looks so in the next clip I'm going to be showing you guys once I have my makeup my hair everything all together and thank you guys so much for watching today's maintenance vlog let me know what was your favorite part in the comments Speed it up.